everyone, I'm Dr Sue Allingham from Early Years Out of the Box and here are my five top tips for developing confidence and understanding emotional literacy. Number one, look after yourself and your team. Make sure you understand what you're feeling and they all feel confident to share with you how they feel and they know they will be respected. Feeling good about yourself is important before you are able to understand how the children feel good about themselves and help them to develop it. Number two, consider how well you know your families. Because if you don't understand how the families work or know what their needs and interests are, you are in danger of ignoring things that might be really important. Number three, look at how you develop the skills of self-regulation with your children. Do you enable them to have time to think about how they do things? Do you enable them to have time to express themselves? Do you enable them to have time to understand how things work and how if things go wrong, they can make them better again? Those resilience skills. Number four, look for all the opportunities you can possibly find to develop physical confidence because if the children aren't confident with themselves physically how their bodies work how they move in space how they interact with each other physically then they might not feel emotionally secure or confident as well there's it's really important that children understand that um, the physical and emotional feelings link and that you understand it too. Number five top tip is refresh your understanding of the development of the brain because if you don't or if you don't have a knowledge of it go and read something maybe read something by Mene Yonk by ear or um, look at some David Whitbread stuff on self regulation as well. So those are my five top tips and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.